Our next section we'll look at is section 9, capital C. This section deals with shared dealers. Now what you need to understand about a shared dealer is that the shared dealer is a person who buys and sells shares in other companies as trading stock. So when you buy shares, you can claim a deduction. When you sell it, it will be gross income, so it will be included in gross income. Each year, the opening stock will be deducted, and if there's closing stock, it will be added back to our income. Those are just the simple rules around trading stock, which you just need to be aware of. Now, what I want you to understand around this section is that if you hold shares as an investment, so I buy shares as an investment, then it's not in a scheme of profit making. So it's capital nature, it will calculate capital gains and losses as usual. But if I'm a share dealer, it's treated as trading stock. So when I buy it, there'll be deductions, and when I sell it, it'll be gross income. What I want you to understand is that section 9, capital C, only applies to share dealers. So people who have it as gross income. Now, if a share dealer buys shares and sells shares, it does it in a scheme of profit making. So, the costs of the shares are deductible as the cost of stock. And if it's part of closing stock, it's added to your income. Opening stock is allowed as a deduction, as I said. Now what I want you to see is Section 9C. If Section 9C applies, understand now what it says. It says, if you're a share dealer, Usually things are gross income and you can get deductions for it. But if Section 9C applies, you will treat your shares as if it's capital in nature. So, Section 9C only applies when the shares are sold. Right, so see what it says? If I sell shares, if Section 9C applies, it's capital in nature. If it does not apply, it's gross income. So this only applies to share dealers. Because people that hold that as investment, for them it's already capital. So what Section 9C does, as it says, is it changes it into capital. But if you have an invest, hold shares as an investment, it's already capital for you, so Section 9C cannot apply. So what does Section 9C say? It says, any amount received or any expenditure incurred in respect of an equity share must be deemed to be of a capital nature if that equity share had, at the time of the receipt or accrual of that amount or incurred that expenditure, been held for a period of at least three years. So they say, if you've had shares for at least three years, you must treat it as capital. Please note here also, they say the amount received or the expenditure incurred. So after three years, if you incur further expenditure, you cannot claim deductions for it. That does not refer to the opening stock deduction. It means additional expenditure. Section 9C5, very important, says, There shall, in the year of assessment, in which any equity share held for a period of at least three years, so these ones we talk about, is disposed of by the taxpayer, be included in the taxpayer's income, any expenditure or losses incurred in respect of such equity share, and allowed as a deduction from the income during that or any previous year of assessment. So what are they saying here? They say Section 9C5, If you sell a share that you held for at least three years, add back any deduction claimed in the past on those shares. So basically because, remember, you're going to treat it now as capital if you've held it for three years. They want you to treat it as capital. So they say add back those deductions. You can't get the deduction as well. Six. Where the taxpayer holds shares of the same class in the same company which were acquired by the taxpayer on different dates, and the taxpayer has disposed of any of those shares, the taxpayer shall, for the purpose of this section, be deemed to have disposed of the shares held by the taxpayer for the longest period of time. So they say if you have more than one share, apply first in, first out. Then they say, the provisions of section 22.8 shall not apply on or after the date that an equity share has been held for a period exceeding three years. Now, section 22.8, this is a 
trading stock recoupment section. It's an important section, but they say it does not apply if the shares have been held for three years or more. Okay, so be aware of it for now. So this is just a summary. So if your scheme, the shares are held in a scheme of profit making, you're a share dealer. It means it will be gross income and you can claim deductions. But once you dispose of the shares, if you've held it for three years, it will be treated as if it's capital in nature. And after three years, any deductions that you've claimed must be added back to taxable income. So here are the steps. When is the disposal of shares? Determine if the person disposing the shares is holding the shares in a scheme of profit making. If the shares were held for capital purposes, we won't consider Section 9C. But if it was in the scheme of profit making, we go to the next step. Determine how long the person owned the shares for. If it was held for less than three years, it's gross income, which you're a share dealer. But if it's held for more than three years, we treat it as if it is capital in nature. You then add back all of the deductions claimed previously. And then important, because it's now capital in nature, those costs that be deducted, they all basically form the part of the base cost now. And the same price will be the proceeds. Okay, and then we'll calculate the capital gain or loss.